Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we chased a debtor out here to the Augur Biometrics Lab, I think it's called. Deserted Biotics Lab, excuse me. Uh, and we found her and all these um, pirates. And we didn't have to kill them because we're obviously Crimson Fleet, which is great. So, let's get into it. Ah, yes. So we found her in here. I think she's heading back to wherever she came from. Ooh, what's in as here? As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Madam, you need to calm down. You found ah, something good. And we are in... Ooh, what's in here? Ah, it's rare. Uh, I suppose I we'll take it. When you have the time. Sam, I know you have some stuff on your mind, my dear, but I have some stuff that I need to, um... Loot. Ah. Oh, I thought they were big fridges. Okay. Anything else in here? I don't think there is. I think it's all just the usual garbage, you know. Stuff that you don't want. Oh, we'll take that. Midnight Delight? What's that? Nobody can stop the... Midnight Delight. A snack made from a smattering of available ingredient ingredients. Well... I think we'll 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 leave that. I'll never look at Galbank the same again. All right. Oh, so she just decided to take a pew and chill out. I mean, that's fine. If that's what you choose to do with your um yourself. Okay. Hello, hey, Hella. Love. I appreciate the sweeping. That's that's good. Okay, so Sam wants to have a conversation. Let's have the conversation before he loses his marbles. Hello, Sam. You know, traveling with you has been something else. Yes. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Ah, uh, yeah, they, they, they both have the charms, you know. Well, how non-committal of you. See, the people rude. I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown. They just live and die there. Maybe they like There's it. There's a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. Mm -hmm. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? Because maybe it's all they need. Ah, uh, and yeah, not everybody gets the opportunity. Unfortunately, there are unfortunates that have little to no choice in anything, and they have my sympathy. Yeah. But there are so many people that think it's out of reach, when it isn't. I think everyone should at least get out once, and go someplace, meet people, get out of your comfort zone, so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There is a mess of ugly out there, but my god, there is grandeur, too. Well, maybe some people don't like people, you know? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, new cultures, new experiences can be deeply enriching. They can be. Very much so, yes. That helps you understand how this crazy place fits together. Yeah. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Okay. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. All right. Uh, that's what Constellation's all about, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's funny. As much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes mm -hmm. scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. Oh, if only. Well, there are dragons in a very sort of classic Bethesda game, but we won't we won't discuss that. Um, okay. Well, Jacob has none of that co-family spirit in him then? Yeah. Not one drop. Oh dear. He's always been about making deals, keeping goods moving. Despite his many, many flaws, I think deep down, he is trying to do good for Aquila City. Well, that's if you're going to be name-dropping Solomon all the damn time, you should act a little more like him. <sighs> well, yeah, here's to uh, Discovery then. I couldn't ask for better company. All right, dude, calm, calm yourself. All right, so I think we need to head back to, uh, yes, report back to Landry now. So we will do that. The old Kepler R. 
I love it. It's a very good ship. It's just very... It's not as fast as the old um, Frontier. I like the Frontier. Could we have Andreja as a crewmate? Do you suppose? Wait, why is Sergeant Yumi at the lodge? Um, yeah, we'll report back to Landry and then we'll head to the lodge and just see what's that all about. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to like it, but I got to admit, Atlantis is classy. All right. <laughs> Samuel, I don't know, mate. What are you like, lad? E lad, behave thyself. Yeah, I think, with the Kepler R being so big, I think Andreja could be on the crew. We could have her with, her, with us all the time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I like having Andreja as a, as, as a companion, though. She's she's awesome. Let's face it. Hey, dude. Good news. <laughs> Dealing with you is the best part of my week. How is it? Another successful venture. Yep. And you save the day too? Yep. <laughs> I wish every job was so win-win. Well, it's all right. Here's the pay. Let me know if you want another assignment. Are these just like ambient missions now, these? I think they are, aren't they? I think they are just ambient missions in terms of, you know, um, actual quests. Hmm. Well, let's just... Bob on over to the um, to the lodge and just see why why um, the captain's there. Is it the captain? Hmm. We could go and do the abandoned mine as well, but hmm. I'd love to visit some of these on Earth actually as well. Ah, oh, there's so much I want to do. I may do it, you know. What was this again? Oh my god, there's so much I want to do. So much I want to do. Okay, let's... Um, yeah, we'll head to the lodge first. And then we'll um, make our decision from there, I think. I wonder how much Walter pays in property tax on this baby. Well, you don't have to pay it, Sam, so why are you bothered? That's the question on everybody's lips. Walter, the artifacts, Kepler art is brilliant. We've done it. Can we put it in here? No. Do you have a second friend? Oh, Matteo, you want to talk? Okay. I've well, thought about it. All right. And as much as I would love to see the unity, the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. There's only one person who is, if I get any say in it, and it's Andreja. Uh, <sighs> he must have his reasons, you know. Uh, yeah, it's too bad. I think the multiverse is ready for a starborn Mateo. Hopefully with a much better hat. <laughs> I know. I had a cool outfit picked out and everything. Did you? I think I need to look for my answers here. In this universe. And I can't leave my parents. No. I know they would understand, but... They're not getting any younger. Well... <sighs> Bring them along? So, oh, yeah, good luck. You it's too. Fine. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but... I'm glad I was a part of all this. No, it's fine. I get it. It's okay. Andreja, my Our dear. journey seems to be coming to an end. Oh, never. Never. So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. Certainly can. It did. That's the thing. Eh. Uh... Yeah, this journey brought us together. I don't know if I want to leave that behind. That is not what I meant. I I would not want to leave it behind so easily either. That's okay. I just meant that life keeps going. Mm -hmm. Even when you have lost 
everything. True. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? Uh. If you would, we don't have to go. No, part of me does not want to. I could stay here with everyone. With you. Mm -hmm. But I will step into the beyond whenever you are ready. Okay. I know this is what we have all been working for. Okay. Well, do I? Okay. If you are free soon, could we talk? Right. Dip your ear for a moment. Oh god, everybody wants a conversation. All those credits. And you just handed them oh over god. to the Crimson Fleet. I did. <sighs> it was more about punishing the UC, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. I have no love for the United Colonies government. But do you not think this is more than a bit extreme? Uh, well, yeah, this is just the inevitable outcome of what the UC's mistake with the with the of what the UC's mistake with the key. Hmm. Okay. That is ridiculous. Whoa! It was not inevitable. It was a choice you made. Do not try to absolve yourself of any responsibility. All right. Whatever the United Colonies had done in the past does not justify what you have done here. You have put lives at risk with this decision. <sighs> Space is a dangerous place. Nothing I do will change that. That's true. That is abject foolishness. By that logic, we should just blow up your ship right now, since it will inevitably fail someday. No, we're not doing that. I thought you were better than this. Oh, dear. Well, there's no taking it back now, exactly. No, there is not. You will have to live with the consequences. If you are half the person I believe you to be, the credits will not help you sleep. Oh, dear. Well, there you go. She's annoyed. What can I do? Let's go. I find myself spending more and more. Let's go and do something else. <laughs> oh dear, maybe we're going into the unity on our own. And do you know what? Maybe that's that might be, I don't know, the lesser of the two evils. I don't know. I need to find a bloody repair kit, don't I? Ah, so annoying. Hmm. But we've yet to find one, is the case. Hmm. Okay, let's 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 have a look. Should we go to this abandoned mine? Maybe we should. Okay, let's um, let's go do that. I think. See what we can find out there, if anything good, you know. Maybe we'll stop off at the old traders on our way out. Clearing out bad guys. Like a... I don't know. What? What? I mean... Alright. Okay. Hmm. Maybe, actually, while we're here, what we could do... Sorry, I know I keep changing my mind. Is... Weren't the brownouts or something that we were going to investigate? In the... Uh, oh, and the distress signal. Oh, my God. There's so much to do. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Let's go and figure out this distress call, actually. Repeating emergency request. Facility crucible requires vital materials to sustain the mission. Transmitting coordinates on Charybdis 3. End of message. Go to the crucible on the Charybdis 3. On Charybdis 3? What? Charybdis 3? Is this Charybdis 3? Ah! Okay. The crucible. Ooh. What is this? 
This is cool. Crucible. That sounds curious, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh. Let's just take in our surroundings. Some we need to be um, need to be careful here. Cause something's off. Satellite ghost vine. Ooh. Scan all these. Hope you find what you're looking for. I always do some. Don't you worry. This is quite a nice planet, isn't it? It's nice to not come down to a planet and have it snowy as anything. Who are you? You're Tobias. Something else there, wasn't there? Okay, never mind. Um, so Tobias is a is a robot. Hey, dude. Chilling of unknown origin detected. Designated. Outsider. Yep. This is an undisclosed secret location. Please identify purpose or depart. Uh, I received your trans, your distress call. Yes. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. Reminder. Deliver required material. End of conversation. This... this is incredible. What? For so long we hoped for any... visit. And the day has finally arrived. Where is she? Um... Yeah, it's out of the way. You must not see many people. We see no one. Ever. Either. Your arrival is truly an historic one. But many fear what it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do, while the rest hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Did anybody else notice on Tobias's head? Uh, yeah, I'll go Give look for Give it time, Franklin, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. All right. So are you invisible? Yeah, look on Tobias's head. Look. A new hand touches the beacon. Absolutely bloody not. Good grief. Right, well, let's have a little look around here. Hello? Oh, oh, we can't get in these? Really? Maybe we have to collect the copper first. 150 copper? My God. That's going to take some doing. Oh! There's a dude. Where was the woman then? Was she behind us? Sam? Is that you, Sam? There? That's Sam. Where was the woman then? I heard a woman, but where where did she go? Where did she go? Hello? Okay. Anything else up here? Ooh. Casium. Ooh. I'm guessing if we get all the the odds and sods we'll um non resident detected. Valid exception acknowledged. Okay. Um yeah, if we gather up the copper and stuff they'll they'll probably let us into these buildings. I'm just very curious as to where the woman was, because she's disappeared. Should we talk to... Talk to this dude. Hey, sir. Franklin. Ah, Franklin, hello. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. Thankfully, they didn't. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community, but you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your rival to further their own ends. All right. Uh, and you don't seek to use me? You ask a question you already know the answer to. Yes. Then. Yes, of course. I have need of you. All right. But if you have a good heart and a quick mind, I am sure you will see my point of view. Hmm. This is a weird old-time outfit. It is. I've never seen anybody in one of these suits, and your accent is odd. Where to begin? Look, it's like ah, a proper old suit. Maybe an introduction? That might be a shout. I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader uh, of the Pragmatist Society. Um, surely Roosevelt is dead. Uh, just saying. Not, not, uh, I mean, I don't know my US history. I'm pretty sure he is dead. It was a long time ago, I think. Okay. Well, it is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. Is he a robot himself? You see, I was an American president. Mm -hmm. Well, not literally, but 
In a sense, I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are <laughs> clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. Okay. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. I mean, I have heard weirder things in this particular playthrough. Um, hmm. Yeah. To have such advanced cloning technology is unheard of. How? Is it? I wish I could illuminate you on this, mm. but we are as ignorant of the technology which brought us into being as we are of the outside world. Okay, so... Are you immortal, then? Not at all. I have had occasion to see death more than anyone. When someone dies, all they have accomplished here in Crucible, all of their deeds, thoughts are gone oh dear. and when they come back they are different modified the believers say they are improved being reborn can take years sometimes over a decade but everyone comes back hmm ah <sighs> It is pretty hard to believe. I mean, who, why? I've heard of a similar thing. Well, I say I've heard of. I've seen a similar thing in an episode of Red Dwarf where they landed on a planet where... But it was like a planet of waxwork figures of, like, notable people from the past. It was a very good episode. I love Red Dwarf. Anyway, um, I have encountered Stranger Things, though. I mean, the Starborn are pretty weird. Then you must live a remarkably interesting life. Eh, it's not bad. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. The robots clone us for a reason. Hmm. Their so-called mission. Okay. What that is, and what we should do about it, is something the societies disagree about. Sometimes violently. It's best you meet with the other societies. And after, I promise I'll explain the pragmatist's position on matters. Uh. Yeah, I can't wait to see who I'm going to meet next. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, yes, of course. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Manirinas and Genghis Khan. See, now I know. Now I know. Somebody at Bethesda likes themselves from Red Dwarf, because this sounds very similar to the plot of that episode. Just saying, dude. Your suit is very fancy, though. They like a fancy old suit. Do you think you could make me a coffee? I haven't had coffee in so long. Can I? Can I? Can I? Is this? Yeah, this is theft. I'd better not do that. Who are you, like Cleopatra? The pragmatists are the only oh. ones who see Crucible for what it really is. Okay. So, so, so. Let's let's let's. Uh, how very odd! What a strange concept. Although, it's not that bizarre, I suppose. Cloning people from the past. But the question would be, why would you do it? What purpose would it serve, I wonder? Anything in here? Oh, this is like people's bunks and stuff. Okay. Uh, guess we'll go and talk to... Welcome oh, to my stranger. God. Quiet. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. And who are you? My name's Wyatt Earp. Oh, Wyatt Earp, yes. I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. I have a ship I can sleep on. Um. Wyatt Earp. I thought Wyatt Earp was a sheriff. Yeah. He was. And I try to be. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but 
The societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. Well... I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. Okay. Um... Let me know if I can help, yeah. That's a generous offer. I might take you up on it. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. And by the by, I may have access to some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. Uh... Is there a lot of crime in Crucible? Yeah. It runs hot and cold. During usual times, it's an occasional scuffle. Maybe a black eye when an argument gets out of hand. Oh dear. And then a society goes on a rampage and it's tombstone all over. Yeah. I hope your arrival keeps things on an even keel. Well, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, what have you got for sale? Let's of see course. if you've got one of these kits we need. He did not. I'm hoping you come back for some repeat business. All right. Uh, okay, so... so... Hello, folks. Um, Change is coming. I can feel it. So we need to speak to Genghis Khan now. Are they out here? This. Operation Starseed. Ah, that's what this is. Okay, so Amanireus and Genghis Khan. Okay, okay, so, so, alright, so Genghis Khan is round here. Okay, so you're, you're, you don't look like Genghis Khan. Oh no, you're Amun Reyes. Must be Egyptian pharaoh? I had hoped you would visit me. Good. Alright. No. That you stand before Queen Amanirinas of the Kush, oh. queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. But I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. Oh, cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. What's the Kush? Let's let's do some educational research. In truly ancient times, my land lay south of Egypt, a harsh country. History is enamored of my contemporary Cleopatra. But she would have withered and died had she tried to rule my land. Oh dear. Okay. Um. Well, it's uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Your courtesy is appreciated, even though it rings hollow. My subjects are all dust. Yep. If you don't believe me, no, you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true. The great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers, allies, and enemies. Mm -hmm. And the smells, the right scent, and I close my eyes and I can picture all of it. Wow. So vividly. It aches my heart. My home. My kingdom. Um. I'll withhold my judgment. Yeah, you I won't judge. Wise, then. Yeah. I know how it must sound. Once. I called upon mighty armies. I mean, they are close. However, so... on Crucible, I still lead. Okay. Have you heard of the Believers? Nope. Have you heard of the mission? I've heard about that. We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems to bring in a new glorious age and break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. Uh, can you tell me about the mission? Yes. So many scoff at the mission. Before we are reborn here, there are words all of us are told. That we are the chosen. We are meant to better ourselves. To learn, grow, and thrive. All mm -hmm. of us represent the greatest figures in our history. Who better to lead the settled systems to a new golden age? Uh, hmm. You really think you can change everything? Yeah. You are skeptical. 
My advisors thought the same when Augustus Caesar stood unbeatable at Cush's border. I made war against the mighty Romans. I took their cities and fought them to a draw. No other king or queen can boast of that honor against that famed Roman. And that's just me. Some of the greatest lions of all ages are awaiting rebirth. What are bureaucrats, petty politicians, and lawyers against that? Okay, so, hmm. And you want me to help with this, yes. If we could do it ourselves, we would have, years ago. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars. But the machines have been breaking more and more over the years. And no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. Hmm. Maybe none of you are ready. What's the facility, actually? Yeah. The facility is another place on this very planet. Oh. A place we cannot go. As much as we dream of it. Can I go there? Yeah, maybe none of you are ready. Surely someone, anyone by now would have learned the lessons the facility sought to teach. No, the machines have not aged well. The crises break upon our beach, each one greater than the last. Well, yeah, I'll hear you out, but I'm not making any promises. Then listen well, outsider. You must go to the facility. Mm. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can mm. go there, please. And see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. Well, mm. interesting. Right, let's go and talk to Genghis then. And um, that feels very weird to say that. Let's go and talk to Genghis Khan, a figure from history. Uh, hey, robot dude. You, Do not you. leave Crucible. Warning delivered. I can leave Crucible. I, I, I'm not a clone. So don't you worry about it. Alright, so... Where? Where? What? Is he outside the wall? Okay. Oof. Okay, oh. Might as well scan some stuff while we're out here. Genghis Khan. Okay. What is Genghis doing? Stranger, what? Weapons out! They come! There will be blood! Uh, dude, uh, can I scan them first, please? I mean... Are you alright? And the woman from the stars. Come to see me. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. Okay, um... You're much more civil than I was expecting, yeah. Manners cost me nothing. But make no mistake, I will do whatever it takes to escape this prison. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. They're really not. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. Okay. Um. Why are you really out here? I would provide fresh meat for my society. So we don't get fat off the robots. Franklin and I see eye to eye on very little. But even he appreciates this. And I always hope to see some means of escape. Perhaps our luck has finally changed. Ah. Uh, yeah, you handled yourself well out there. I mean, he did kill all three the of them. The robots taught me many things any Mongol would know. So, hunting game, even such as this, is little challenge to me. So Franklin told you of us. Oh, that we're clones? Yep. 
Some of us think that makes us special. That the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. But that is blind arrogance. We are just people. Same as you. Same as anyone. Hmm. So, you really feel no connection to Genghis at all? None at all. Oh, wow. It is as if I were a student of his life and times from an early age. I know so much about him. But that doesn't mean I am him. Mm. I am me. And I am content with this. I see, so it's like, well, I suppose... I don't know. I mean, it is quite, you know, you do share DNA with some pretty noteworthy people. It doesn't mean you're them, but, you know. I suppose it's like being related to a famous person, really. Celebrity. Okay, yeah. I think sharing the D same DNA as noteworthy people counts for something, yes. Perhaps you are right. Yeah. Certainly. Many in Crucible would agree. Ah, but all this talk gets us nowhere. Okay. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damned robots, trying to play their roles in a broken game. The renegades will not submit, and one day, we will be free. Okay. Ah. Uh, so, the Crucible is a prison. A prison of the mind and the body. Crucible holds out a throne and says, Obey! And it is yours. Mm. But thrones are meant to be taken, not handed to you by a machine. But it is a tantalizing lie that keeps the others in line. Uh, what would you do if you escaped? Yeah, this would be interesting. I do not know. Everything outside of Crucible is unknown to us. I imagine the settled systems are not so settled. That a man who does not shrink from violence can't make a place for himself, though. Hmm. Then you should leave. Were it that easy? I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. Oh dear. You get too far or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now, the robots have made a grave mistake. You... You can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands. And all the societies know it. Hmm. Crucible really kills you? Oh yes. You can go one or two miles from Crucible, and you drop dead. Wow. I have no knowledge of medicine, but it's probably poison. Probably some kind of implant. It boils my blood to be subjugated like this. But too many of the clones are sheep. As long as their pens are clean and comfortable, they bleat their arguments. Hmm. The question does have to be asked as to why do it, though. I... Mm. I mean, I don't know, is it wrong? I don't... I mean, you shouldn't just keep people against the will. That's a little... That is wrong, really, I suppose. But yeah, Genghis Khan wasn't exactly, um... Cuddles and sunshine, if history is to believe, be believed. Excuse me, so... But, yeah, it is wrong. I sense fire in you. Okay. Good. You will need it. You know of the facility, yes? Mm -hmm. Go there and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask, and it will set us free. All right. So I can talk to Franklin. Let's just, um, what are these things? They're like a, like an octopus, but without the, the eight legs. These have got six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, this is a little weird, isn't it? So, there's some kind of facility that's keeping them all here. 
against the will um for the purpose of we don't know what what's the readout well some weird is what the readout is very weird okay let's head back inside and um see what's occurring it's just odd isn't it so they're all clones of famous people well, I mean, they don't all look like famous people. I mean, who are you? Settled systems needs us. No slight Just of need anything at all. Test. I don't know who any of these people are. <sighs> what a strange, strange little place. What do you think, Sam? Weird, huh? Very weird. But we are going to leave it there for today. Next time, we will uh, go and speak to Franklin, and then we'll go and have a look at this facility and see if we can answer the question as to what is going on here who's cloning these people and all that jazz i don't know so until next time be safe be good look after yourselves <laughs>